Hey everyone, it's Xcardlev here. In this video, I would like to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of installing my LVY interface with the help of the custom-made installer plugin that I made together with Repook, an add-on author that focuses on LVY plugins. Now before we dive into the installation process itself, I would like to emphasize something crucial about my LVY interface and the custom installer plugin. The focus while developing this interface was centered around optimizing system performance without compromising functionality. You see, rather than installing multiple plugins that could potentially impact your system performance, I have consolidated the essential features into this LVY interface, so this means we are achieving more without overloading your system with a lot of other plugins. Before we proceed, let's quickly go over the essential add-ons that you will need to install. First and foremost, you will need to install LVY itself, as that is the core add-on for the interface. Next up is Details Damage Meter. This add-on is an excellent add-on for tracking and analyzing your damage output. For retail users, I highly recommend downloading Wine Tools. This is designed specifically for retail, offering additional features on top of your screen, which I will show you once we get deeper in the video. And lastly, you will also need Omni CD, which is another must have. This add on enhances your gaming experience by displaying cooldowns for abilities and items. Now in addition to the necessary add-ons, let us explore a few more options that, while not essential, also offer extra customization possibilities to further elevate your LVY profile. First up we have Weak RS and this add-on is a powerhouse when it comes down to tracking buffs, debuffs or spell cooldowns. In addition to that, I also make use of the add-on called Mask and Mask Gate, which is a specific skin that is designed to give that glossy effect on your action bar skills. And finally, we have Plater Nameplates, a choice that I have made instead of utilizing the built-in nameplates that come with LVY. While I personally opt for Plater, the LVY nameplates are available for use as well. However, when you install my profile, they will be deactivated by default. Now that we have covered the essentials, let us dive deeper into the installation process. Before we begin by adding any add-ons, I strongly advise that you create a backup of your WTF folder to ensure a fresh starting point for your profile. In order to do this, you have to launch your Battle.net launcher and navigate to the World of Warcraft game version that you would that you would like to install my profile for. Click onto the gear icon that is located next to the play button and select to open in Explorer, which is an option that will directly open the file location. For instance, if we are working with the retail version, creating a backup of your WTF folder is very simple. You just have to rename your folder to WTF Alt, and this renaming process will safeguard all your add-on settings within this backup folder. Moving on, the next step involves downloading my LVY profile installer. For this one, you have to open the CurseForge application or any other application that you are using for installing add-ons and grab the latest version. If you prefer to install your add-ons the manual way, you will also find all the necessary links I mentioned in the video description for your convenience. Follow the same process for the rest of the required add-ons, meaning that you can download Details Damage Meter, Omni CD and specifically for retails also Wine Tools. Additionally, if you are interested in also acquiring the previously mentioned additional add-ons, now is also the time to do so. Download Weak RS, Plater Nameplates, Mask and Maskate to further customize your interface. Once you have obtained all the necessary add-ons for your chosen game version, there is one more left which is LVY. Unlike all of the others, this one needs to be downloaded directly from their official website. After downloading LVY, locate the folder in your downloads directory, copy the LVY folder and paste it into your add-ons folder. 
this final step ensures that LVI is also integrated into your interface setup. Open your bottle.net launcher, then click onto the gear icon that is next to the play button and select the option to show in Explorer. For illustration purposes in this video, let us stick with the retail version and once you are in the file explorer, navigate to the interface folder and access the add-ons and simply paste in the downloaded LUI folder in your add-ons directory. Now that all of the add-ons are successfully installed, let us jump into the game and guide you through the setup process. Upon entering the game you might notice a video playing, this is completely normal and indicates that the use of your new WTF folder where settings are basically set at default. You can easily skip this introduction. At the character selection screen, navigate to the lower left corner and select add-ons. To ensure a smooth installation process without interference, you have to disable all add-ons temporarily. Afterwards, selectively enable the essential add-ons, details, damage meter, LVI, LVI wine tools, and of course, my LVI profile installer. If you have also opted to download the additional add-ons like I mentioned earlier, ensure that they are also enabled at this stage. As you enter the in-game world, you will encounter several setup screens. Feel free to close most of them except for the LVI setup. This initial setup is a one-time process, especially crucial if this is your first time that you are installing LVI. Click on continue to start the installation, beginning with the crucial step of configuring your CVARS. Make sure that you click on to the setup CVARS button at this stage. Once your CVARS are perfectly configured, you have to click on continue until you reach step 6, where you will need to adjust the UI scale to fit your screen. I have set the default to 0.64, but this setting may vary based on your screen size. I recommend selecting the auto scale option as it allows you to fine tune your UI scale in your settings to perfectly fit your screen. Continue by clicking the continue button through the remaining steps as these options aren't really necessary for the setup process. When clicked onto the finished button it will reload your game presenting you with my LVI installer to set up my profiles. Once again this is also a one time setup and you will not need to repeat these steps once it's completely done. To start you have to click on to the click to continue button to process to the next step which involves importing my LVI profile. Click on to the retail button and proceed by clicking continue. Repeat the same process for the private profile despite the warning message. Simply click on accept to proceed. The subsequent step involves setting up my details damage meter profile accessible by clicking the setup details button if you wish to integrate this profile. Next continue to the Omni CD setup upon asking to import the profile. Once again click on accept and proceed to step 6 which is specifically for the wine tools profile exclusively available when you are using my installer for retail. Once you have reached the final step click on to the finished button your game will do a complete reload and all of your profiles will be configured and ready for your immediate use. After the interface reloads, all your settings should be configured, except for the optional add-ons Mask and Mask Gate. To enable the glossy effect on your action bars, open the Mask options by typing forward slash mask in your chat window. Ensure that the skin is set to Kate and also enable the glossy effect which will add the desired visible enhancement to your action bars. For the ultimate final step, let's set up our Plater nameplates. These aren't included in my installer because they are crafted by Quasi, so I can't take credit for these creations. 
To install these nameplates you have to visit Quasi's website and scroll down until you spot the Plater profile link. Once found, copy the link, go back in game and type forward slash Plater in your chat to access the Plater profile options. Navigate to the profiles to import the copied profile and follow the prompt to reload your interface for the final setup. After the reload, ensure that your friendly nameplates are activated by pressing Ctrl V on your keyboard. And there you go my friends, your LVY is now finely tuned and customized just the way I have it set up. I hope this, this installation process has made setting up your UI a breeze as a feature to have my interface in one simple installer has been requested a lot over the years. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to drop them in the comments below or hop on my Discord server. Happy gaming and may your adventures be as epic as your new interface. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This was XKNife and I see you in the next one.